Why is it when aliens attack Earth? Why do we attack Earth? Do you guys realize that there's another planet right next to us that no one's on? So, the fifth wave. Um, what can I say about this film? Well, it's about aliens coming over to Earth to basically kill us and take our land. Sounds familiar? But instead of using guns, they're using uh, a virus, they use earthquakes, they take out our power, and they disguise to be us. That's the first four waves. Uh, not in particular order, but who cares? Um, the fifth wave is supposed to be some master secret plan that you really don't get into a tour later in the movie. But I'm not going to spoil anything for you what the fifth plan is. Uh, what I liked about this film, I liked about 45 minutes of this film. I did, I was really into it. I liked her life before uh, Chloe Barat, uh, Chloe Grace Baratz. I probably butchered her name, uh, but you know her for kick ass. But, uh, and other stuff. But I did like her life before uh, all this stuff happened. I was really into that part. But uh, as the movie go, go along, I really cared less and less about her character. Um, I was really more into the dude's character, uh, Ben. I was really more into his character, his storyline, more than anything. Uh, I loved, like I said, when Ben was on, uh, he gets put into this training camp, uh, along with her, with Chloe Grace Barrett's brother, who she's trying to rescue, by the way. Um, so both of those guys are in a camp, training to fight the aliens. I was really bored to that storyline than Chloe, I was going to call her Chloe, <laughs> Chloe's, um, uh, storyline. Her trying to find her brother. I wasn't really into her character. Um, what I did not like about this film was quite a few things. Number one, it's very predictable. I predicted everything. Like, I was like, oh, this is going to happen, and that happened, and this is going to happen, and it all happens. Uh, so, that's pretty bad. Uh, also, was not a fan of the acting. I mean, I think some of the actors, they could have got better actors. Um, again, I think this how entire cast was whitewashed. I think they could add a couple of brothers in there, a couple of Mexicans, Latinos, just mix it up a little bit, okay? We also did not like uh, the kid, the younger brother, the little kid. I did not like him at all. I found him annoying. He was a typical little boy. Like, oh, I need a teddy bear. Can you please get my teddy bear? I was like, dude, this is a goddamn apocalypse. Fuck your goddamn teddy bear, okay? Survive. Shoot, he's over here like, oh, I need a teddy bear. Can you see me in a song? Like, dude, grow up here, boss. Uh, overall, I would not go rush out and see this film. Uh, it's, it's a movie you probably catch on Netflix or don't see it at all. Or Redbox it if you really want to see it. But uh, I would spend $10 to go see this movie. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to give this movie a 2 out of 5. Uh, it could have been better, but it's not. So... Thank <laughs> you.